All right, Pisces, what up? Let's get a reading. Let's see what's going on with the Piscean Collective. Today is Tuesday, February 13th, 2024. See what's going on with my Pisces Collective for the next 48 to 72 hours. What is the energy surrounding my Pisces? Keep in mind that this is general. So take what fits and leave the rest. This is for your clarity, for your guidance. So you got the Temple Path. You got First Chakra, Archangel Michael. What? Carrying Connections. Attachment and Magician in the Mirror. Door to Value on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's talk about it. All right, Pisces, so Temple Path. Some of you guys are being guided and protected um, towards forming stronger bonds with people who are more on your wavelength or more um, in alignment with who you are. Let's see, number 12. All right, the Temple Path, spiritual purpose and support. Receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path uh, you are on leads to a blessed temple in a lovely garden, symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has had in mind for this lifetime. This card upright is here to tell you that what you are going through now is all part of your soul's process. You are on your karmic path and headed in the right direction, and the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lessons. The lights around the temple path represent the spirit world, your family members and your friends, angels and guides, all of the loving spirit helpers who long to assist you, call upon them and be open to their wisdom and their inspiration. This is a wonderful life expanding time, so keep in mind your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connection. Following your higher intentions will help you move your life forward in dramatic ways and connecting with spirit and your higher self will have will have a wonderful what oh my gosh will have a wonderful influence on all that you experience and then you got number 35 with archangel michael you got number 12 here number 14 5 and 53 those could be ages birthdays okay number 35 Archangel Michael in the house. Stability and security. Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. This is the place where you, where your sense of stability and security are stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Even if you have had problems with feeling secure in the past, these challenges are becoming, beginning to resolve at this time. Archangel Michael is with you now, bringing you the strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path. So allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and always. Hang on, number 14, Caring Connections. Uh, friendship, partnership of two, possible love. Okay, this card shows a couple in a tender embrace with the woman holding the blossoms of new love. Like the community card, this reveals a caring connection, but usually between two people only. This card signals the beginning or deepening of a kindred spirit friendship or even the appearance of new love. It can also signify a per it can also signify a formal business partnership. When this card appears, be on the lookout for New connections presenting themselves. The relationships you already share may become more intimate, purposeful, or present at this time. Notice the opportunities to forge new and deeper bonds. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand. Then you got number five. We are going to clarify these with the tarot. Um, so attachment. Perceived need and choice to let go. In the upright position, this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or people from the past. The chain on your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or desperation about the future. Although you may be wearing a mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem to get forward. Uh, the stuff that's keeping you stuck could the stuff that is keeping you stuck could be physical addictions, emotional pat patterns, or even old relationships. 
You are living in fear, addicted to old, unhealthy habits, or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now. If so, the chains that bind you could be of your own making. This card is telling you that it is time to take the action you need to break out of your chains and move forward to an open, free, healthy, and authentically happy life. It may take some time, courage, and effort to let go, but know that you are capable of doing it. Until you do so, the difficult energy will just repeat itself, keeping you stuck. So what is it that you need to release, Pisces? Okay, number 53. With Magician in the Mirror, Pisces, you are the alchemist of your life. Let's see. Knowing and using your true power. This card upright represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power. At this time, in the magician's left hand is the flame of passion and action. In his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection. This highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician and within your grasp are the amazing forces of the earth and spirit. Water is the energy of yin and the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang bringing direction and creativity together they give you the magnificent magic transformation the mirror stands beside the magician reflecting the outer world's response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have the silver reflection reveals the future in the mist and on the horizon ready to be magically formed when you receive the magician upright you are put on notice that it is an important powerful time is at hand you are the alchemist of your life, and just as the alchemist turns base metals into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny, and the mists of the future will clear into brilliant uh, reality. So there's something here, Pisces, that I feel like you're needing to... Uh, release and i'm not sure what area of your life you have the door to value and appreciation underneath that so you have the door to value here so there is something at hand there's like something here that's in the making but there's also something that you need to release you're you're being guided on your karmic path archangel michael is here this may be involving your security your stability um you know spirit is trying to make way for new connections in your life so be on the lookout there may be some people that you need to detach from. Um, people, places, things, mindsets. Um, and step into your true uh, power here with this magician in the mirror. I watched a movie last night um, with Vin Diesel. And it was... Um, it was kind of an older movie. Maybe like 2017, I think. But it... Uh, it was weird to see Vin Diesel playing in a movie like that, but he was like uh, mortal, I think. And I don't know. It was about the witches, the witch hunter or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> that movie was crazy. I don't know why I thought about that. Oh, I know why. Because in the movie, when it first starts, he's on a plane. And there was a witch on there. She wasn't like a bad witch or whatnot, but she didn't know the elements that she had in her backpack and the power that it could cause. And when they were in the plane, it started like this big ass like storm and lightning as the plane was going through it. And Vin Diesel was like this 800 year old person that doesn't age. <laughs> and so he went over there and he's like, oh, so he goes and like does his little, gets the things out of her backpack. He's like, give them to me. And he does something with them, and then the storm stopped. But anyways, I don't know why that's what I thought about when I was reading that magician card. It was that movie that I watched last night. All right, so let's see. Temple Path. Can I get a couple clarifiers for Pisces? So the Two of Wands literally talks about a pathway, your pathway, picking a direction, choosing, you know, the choices that you make. Eight of Swords also came out with the Nine of Cups. I'm not going to take it, but some of you guys may be like restricting yourself from something that it, that you truly want because you're holding on to something that needs to be let go of. And you may be kind of complacent about this. Like, eh, it's not really hurting me or it's, you know, day to day. Um... Like, whatever I'm talking about may be less 
you may view it as something that is not such a big hindrance as I really think it might be. Uh, I hope that made sense. 10, 10 on the clock. <sighs> All right, let's see. Temple path. Nine of pentacles. So I feel like you're being guided towards some type of like stability, security, wealth, abundance. Again, this is like the appreciation card to me, which is here. Damn, and happy family underneath that. Ooh. And the angel of balance. So something here may be pertaining to family or children, independence, stability, security. It's like you're being guided somewhere, but the choice is yours. I feel like we said that somewhere in the show me first chakra Archangel Michael, King of Wands. <laughs> Five of Wands. Um, strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I'm sorry, but like I'm just sitting here look I don't know if this is wrong, but like look at his look at his abs. And then you get the King of Wands. King of Wands is typically like very attractive, you know confident strong leadership type energy and then you have first chakra archangel michael some of you guys are going through something that involves other people and you may feel like something here is chaotic or there's some type of drama competing but i feel like you have the com like this is like you have the confidence and the strength the perseverance, the resilience to get through whatever this is. So something around you may seem like, yeah, give me the five of wands. Like something here is, like there's some type of drama. King of swords, yeah, it's like, but you have the knowledge, you have the skills to like, there is a need to use discernment, get organized, Okay, be disciplined, go after what it is that you want, but I do feel like you feel like, I feel like you feel like there is some type of conflict or adversity or struggle here. There could be clashing of perspective, perspectives. You got five, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Give me one more on this conflict card. Eight of Swords, yeah, this gets... Some of you just, again, two of swords, eight of swords, two of swords, kind of like there's some type of a block or a restriction here, or there's something that you're not quite seeing clearly. You may need to call upon your angels, call upon your spirit guides, your hidden helpers. Maybe some of you guys need to reach out to family or those who are closest to you that you can trust and ask for some type of assistance. Me personally, I will go to my hidden helpers before anybody in the 3D, but that's just me. You guys, you know make whatever choice you feel is best for you show me caring connections Oy. the page of swords and the emperor rare aries energies here so the emperor is a boss, it's a leader, it's somebody in, in a leadership role, position of authority, it's someone who's very protective. There could be someone here who could be, who may have their eye on you. This is, so there could have been someone here, if this is a love thing, there could have been somebody here in the shadows who's wanting to like come towards you, who's been keeping an eye on you. But they're trying to come up, they're trying to figure out a way. This could even be you. Um, when it comes to, now if this has something to do with like finances, resources, there's a need to be strategic with your finances. I feel like there's someone here who's also like, Either somebody is seeing that you need support or someone, you could be that for somebody. Okay? Flip it, switch it, whatever. All right. Tell me more about caring connections.
There could also be someone who's also learning from you, Pisces. Or there may be someone here who you can learn from that may have some type of information that can help and assist you. There may be a need to also like take on an authoritative role and seek out information that can help you. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to take that one. I kind of dropped it. But the fool. So strong Aries energy is here. The Ten of Cups and the Star. Something here is leading you towards like happiness, wish fulfillment, emotional contentment. For some of you guys, this could be like a new person, connection, a divine masculine um, type energy. Or this could be you in this energy. Whoever this is, though, this is someone who's very supportive. I feel like, and this is either someone who's been watching you. Yeah, this is something coming in, I feel like. For some of you guys, this is love, okay? This could be someone who's been kind of like holding back an offer or... Trying to find the strength, the courage. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to see what this attachment is. What is this attachment for Pisces? And for all of you guys, it could be different. So you got the Ace of Wands, the Hermit, the Seven of Pentacles. I'm almost wondering if like you guys are stagnating starting something new or like you're waiting for something to come in. Some of you could also be hiding some type of a, a talent or a skill set that could uh, bring in some type of like resources or... Yeah, so maybe you guys could be hiding some type of a talent or a skill set here. Or even like, yeah, it's like you're holding back. I feel like there's something here that you want, but it's like, you may be saying, oh, and, and I'll do that in six months, or I'm going to, um, I need to do this before I could do this, and attachment. the attachment could just be fear itself. Yeah, it's almost like you're waiting. Like waiting to uh Yeah, so we guys are fearing whatever this change is because it's gonna be a big, big, big change. But it's going to lead you to some type of growth, fertility, abundance. Show me a magician in the mirror. Magician in the mirror. Some of the souls. The Wheel of Fortune. What? Two more. The Hangman. It's like you're delaying some type of like golden opportunity or you feel like something here is has came to a halt or a stop and you feel stuck, you feel stagnant. 
What's the Seven of Swords? Temperance. Sagittarius, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces. I almost feel like some of you guys are like lying to yourself about the power or like what is this denial hmm. it's almost like you're patiently waiting for a sign but like divine timing is now some of you guys, what did we read in those cards too? Something about thinking back too much in the past or trying to like think too far into the future. Like be here in the present, be here in the now. Because I feel like divine timing is now. But there's some type of something here that you're strategically like. What are you strategically doing? I don't know. Or you're just like... the seven of swords the ten of cups and the moon and the seven of wands i don't know Pisces. some of you guys are blocking your own happiness or the block could be family Some of you may feel like your intuition is blocked or you're getting mixed signals or you just, um, you fear like having to stand up for something. I don't know if this is like, an, I feel like there's an avoidant energy here. It's almost like you're refusing to make a choice or a decision because you feel like you don't know or you don't have all the facts, but I think you do. You just are like delaying yourself. Maybe attached to like an old way of doing things and spirit is trying to get you to venture outside that box. Like you are strong enough and like alone I'm not saying you have to be alone. I'm just saying like, hmm. there's a need, to, there we go. There's a need to be more assertive in something. And I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you could be more passive. Yeah, that's the best way I can put that. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Let's get a few cards from here and see what else. I'm going to get one more on this Knight of Swords down here, though. Cause... Okay, so this could go two ways. Either some of you guys could have someone here who... I mean, you guys are going to like bat your noses, but whatever. Either there could be someone here who juggled you, who has regrets, and they don't want some type of a tower to fall. They don't... They want to come in and like... This would be somebody who's coming in wanting to like... 
do right by you in some type of way. Now, if it's not that, this can also be somebody who's watching you be resourceful and go after what it what what it is that you want fearlessly. And this could also be somebody who's coming in to try to help you. This person, there could be someone here who's coming in to, like someone here may have a poker face. Someone here may, okay, either this is like this emperor energy, somebody who is like very powerful, um, some type of a leader or someone here who has some type of status and they're coming in to try to help alleviate some type of stress from somebody going through or facing some type of chaos. So if you're going through something, this could be somebody watching you wanting to come in and help and assist you, maybe financially for some, to help like, like this would be somebody coming in like, hey, let me help you. I see that you're struggling or I see that something here is going on. Let me help you through whatever this is. Let me help alleviate some type of stress for you. Let me help. This could be this, or this could be something you're doing to someone else. Now, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that there because I feel like I've got my point across. Okay. Or this is somebody coming in saying, hey, um, depending if this is someone like seeing you be this way or you seeing someone else and you're doing this, but it's, it's not, it's a caring connection. This isn't something... Whether it's love, work, life, I feel like this is someone who is coming in. Um, wanting to help or assist you. They could even be just giving you the knowledge to like help you. I don't know. Or you could be giving someone else knowledge. Or you could be take, like being assertive, you know, to help somebody. Alright, so you got purpose. In the reverse, though, I know what I'm here to do. Some of you guys are having a hard time, like, uh, that makes sense. So, some of you guys are unsure of, like, what your purpose is. Like, I don't know what I should be doing. And so that's what's causing, like, some type of lack of direction. But I feel like you're trying... If, there, if you're going through something that's like chaotic or something, that is to like, that's for some type of realignment. So spirit is wanting you to be in the here and the now and stop thinking too much about the future or, or about the past. Okay. Happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. And you got courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence and blame. I accept the responsibility for my well-being. Some of you guys too have been like doing like a lot of self-reflecting, a lot of introspection and you've been like holding yourself back waiting for some type of an opportunity and I feel like there's a need to come out of the sh shadows and like get out of that fear you know what I'm also getting this could be I could be talking to someone who's like in that fight or flight mode like say if you are going through something chaotic and it could be triggering something that maybe has happened in the past and there's some type of fear that you have about something turning out the way that it that something turned out in the past there's a need to like because again, I feel like you're trying to protect your happiness in some way by being strategic. But there's also that energy is coming from a fear and like some type of stagnation when it comes to moving something forward. Like you are the alchemist of your own life. I almost wonder if someone fears like outside energies versus alchemizing that and and um, alchemizing it and uh, like this would be someone who's like worried about external things, external forces, rather than tapping into your true power and using that to propel you forward. It's someone that's worried about the wrong fucking things. Sorry to like say it like that, but whatever. 
blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Yeah, don't blame other people. You know, even when other people do us harm, like even with me, when I've had people do some really shitty shit to me, it took a lot during that time when I when it happened. It took a lot. I'm not going to say I felt like that at that time. I totally was like, this person did this. And da -da 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 -da. But then as like time went on and, you know, I grew and whatever on my journey. Now it's like, well, it was shortly after that. But anyways, I was already, I knew better, but I was just really dis, disgruntled. I don't know if that's the right word. I was really butthurt. <laughs> but anyways, uh. You know, I was like, you know what? It wasn't that person's fault. It was my fault because I knew better and I let that person, you know, I gave that person, you know, like, so even, even with, yes, that person did this and the, this and that and the other and yeah, that was not cool. But it was also, I had to take accountability for me allowing that person to like have that. But then I got into this energy after that, that was like, fuck that, I don't trust anybody. Fuck them, fuck them and fuck them too. <laughs> I got into like this energy of like almost like fear and not trusting anybody and then it took a while for me to like learn love and just know hey if if I fuck up and somebody fucks me over and maybe I was meant to learn from it you know like instead of living in that energy of like that could be the attachment too that's deep I wish if you guys I don't know if this reading is resonating and you want a personal reading, you can always reach out, but indecision, I use my intuition in all aspects of life, yeah, I, I remember that, that was, that was some shit, but I love you guys, I hope that this helped, if it did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one, peace!